I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Can I move the map? No. I was originally going to follow a guide for this place, but honestly I can't figure out where is where, so you know. I am a simple person. Something down here? No? Oh wait, that's a chest. Apparently one of these buildings is a tavern. Maybe this one. It's like a tavern, right? You know, that's not the tavern. I guess I'll do everything the old fashioned way and just search all the houses. This one's the tavern, okay. Ooh, chest. Is that a giant hammer? Why would you look around a giant hammer? That sounds re looks really uncomfortable. Also, this is a really weird tavern layout. There's also something here. Oh. We're horrible people. I never understand why there's so much just random like shit lying around for you to pick up in RPGs. It just feels kind of weird. Apparently there's a thing here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now this is some. Um, since we're in Airy Glyph, we're going to have access to a lot of uh, pretty cool gear, but a lot of it we're not necessarily going to be able to buy just yet. Uh, I don't like expensive. Oh. I have 3,000 full. This is not going to really work. So you'll notice there's um two weapons that we can't equip yet because we'll be using these on different characters. Okay, so not this one then. You sell cheaper things. No, I'm also looking for the f <laughs> fuck off. That was reasonably priced mean here. Okay, I guess we're not buying anything just yet. So time to save, and then we'll be on our way. Right. This isn't the end.
sorry I'm late. Lady now. Our preparations are complete now. We can leave immediately. Nice work, Tiny. I'm just glad you're safe. Lady now. Yes, Farlene. They're engineers from Greetown, as we thought. So we were right. Great! Then we'll be able to complete it! That's right. But we don't have time to kick back and chat now. Our pursuers are right behind us. If the Dragon Brigade shows up, we'll be in serious trouble. Yes, ma'am! Ma Get in the wagon. We leave immediately. Introduce me to these fine young ladies. This is Tiny, and the driver's Farlene. They serve directly under me, my ears and eyes in Erigor. They're the ones who told me about you two. Lucky for us. All women, huh? Not that I'm complaining. Aquaria is ruled by the Holy Mother of the Church of Atlas. We employ many more women than Aragorn. The Church of Athras? Yes, the Church of the Sun God Athras. The Holy Mother leads the Church, and is also Queen of Aquaria. A theocracy. I gotcha. What you're saying is your country's packed with temple maids. Now I have to see this place. You know, I'd appreciate it if you'd answer my question, Matt. Right. But before that, might I ask one thing? What? Are you two really engineers from Greeton? Well, um... Hey, you still don't believe us? It's not that. It's just... The fact that you possess special technology and knowledge is clear to me. So yes. It does seem likely that you are who you say. Still, something doesn't fit. The way you respond to danger and your fighting ability indicate that you are not telling me everything. And you are certainly not average engineers. So you see, I believe my doubts are well-founded. Well... Okay, you got a point. But it seems to me you're just gonna have to take our word. We got nothing to gain by lying to you anyway. Wait, you don't think we're Aeroglyph spies, do you? Oh, please. Yes, I see what you mean. But you still don't trust us. No, I trust you. In any case, I was ordered by Her Majesty to bring you to Aquaria. I must fulfill my duty. Well then. Please answer my first question. Yes, since you're unfamiliar with this region, I'll fill you in on the details while explaining our current situation. Please. Tiny, the map. Yes, ma'am. This is Eriglyph, the town we just left. Everything to the west of this line is the nation of Eriglyph, a military superpower. Eastwards of the border is our country, Aquaria. You follow? As I mentioned earlier, Aquaria and Eriglyph are at war. Eriglyph is a militaristic nation that reveres power above all else. 
Aquaria is a peaceful nation that worships the Church of Apris. Aquaria and Aeriglyph maintained friendly relations until several years ago. But one day, they invaded our territory without warning. It seems they've been planning their invasion for some time. Aeriglyph's a frigid land ringed by mountains. Food production has never been easy here, especially in winter. We believe they were after our land, fertile with the blessing of Apris. A war of aggression, huh? Correct. There was no diplomacy, only outright military aggression. We resisted, but we were outmatched. Somehow we managed to hold them back, but the border town of Arius was laid to waste. Still, the war has not been completely one-sided. We may be lacking in military power, but we do have lunology. Lunology? A secret art handed down by the followers of Apris. We inscribe special runes into our flesh that enable us to invoke normally impossible phenomena. Thus the name Lunology. So that's how you broke the prison bars. Correct. Isn't that like symbology? Symbology? Right. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Symbology? Uh, never mind that. Just continue. But what's stopping you from using Lunology to keep Aeriglyph back? There are only a few of us that can use Lunology. Far too few to help us stand up to Aeriglyph. That's why we decided to develop a weapon that makes use of Lunology. It's a man-made weapon that uses the special energy evoked by Lunology as a power source. The engineers have named that energy Channeled Force. Channeled Force? Correct. It's similar to lightning, but there are still a number of problems preventing us from completing the weapon. A power similar to lightning? Just when our research ground to a halt, Tynave and Farloon told me about you two. They also brought back a fragment of that thing that fell into Aeriglyph. It was of great interest to our researchers. They said the fragment was of a material we could not identify, and that we should enlist your aid in our weapons development. And that's where I came in. So you're asking us to help develop a weapon that uses channeled force? Yes, that is correct. Hey, I bet we could use their power to make us a communicator. Yeah, a radio wave device, maybe. I don't really know much about this channeled force, but my guess is it's electricity. And if we can make that, we're home free. But, no, I can't do it. We can't help you. Didn't I say refusal wasn't an option? You're talking about a weapon that will kill many people. I don't want to have any part of that. Plus, we don't have any time to spare. I understand your situation. You need to hurry to save your father, correct? Yes. You admit this is a personal problem, not one that concerns us. True, but... Our country is in a state of war. Both the people of Aquaria and Aeriglyph are dying, energy weapon or no. A quick end to this war would reduce the number of lives lost. That is why we need to complete our new weapon as soon as possible. This is starting to remind me of my old Earth history lessons. Even so, that's not a good enough reason for me to build a weapon. So you're going back on your word? That's coercion. Call it what you will. I already told you back at the prison I could not let you live if you refused to cooperate. I don't have anything against you two, but my duty comes first. And I don't need to remind you that you can't help your father if you're dead. Now wait a second. What do you think Aeriglyph would do if we abandoned you here? We wouldn't help them either. 
I wonder if you'd sing the same song after their Inquisitioner had his fun with you. I would. I've already had a taste of it, believe me. Get all bent out of shape. And you, chill out. But. No buts, kid. Nothing good comes of acting hastily. We have no other choice. Frankly, the war with Aragorn will escalate unless something is done soon. If we could only complete the new weapon, the situation would shift in our favor. If that means we must force uncooperative people into submission, then so be it. Is that a teaching of Apris? Of course not. The sun god Apris and our queen would never wish such things. Yet if we do not act, they will find themselves lacking her followers. Would you rather we submit to their swords like lambs to a slaughter? That's not what I mean. But that is what you are saying. You're just twisting my... Oh, no! Huh? What is it, Farlene? We have company! I think it's the Dragon Brigade! They've caught up with us? Damn, we were so close to Curlsaw, too. What are you gonna do? Fight? Lady Nell. What is it, Tyne? It would be best for you to slip off and find shelter in the rocks. We'll lure them away. That's too risky. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We've lost their kind before. But... Tyne, Farlene, I'm counting on you. Okay, you two, let's go. This is insane. You're just gonna let them go on? You are too valuable for us to lose. We'll be fine. Fewer people means more speed. We'll outrun them. So please, go. No time for chit-chat. Let's move. But... Fate. Please, look after Lady Nell. Be careful yourself. Don't worry about us. May the grace of Apris be with you. May the grace of Apris be with you. The Dragon Brigade. I feared you'd show up soon enough. It shows how important you are to them. That's the Dragon Brigade? Correct. They're one of Ereglyph's three military branches. Knights riding powerful air dragons. Not to be trifled with. Time to go. While Tyne distracts them, we can go through Curlsaw and enter Aquaria territory. Wait a moment. I haven't agreed to cooperate with you yet. And we can't leave them here. There's no way they'll be able to escape with those dragon knights chasing them. Please punish him, though. Yes. There's an extremely good chance that they'll be caught. But there's nothing we can do about that. What? They knew the dangers of their mission when they accepted it. If I became a burden to the mission, they would leave me behind in the same way. Mission? Mission? What's the matter with you? Hey, Fate, shut up. But... I'll leave whether or not we cooperate up to you. But save the debate for later. We gotta get somewhere safer first. safer once we reach Aquaria, right? Yes, I can guarantee that. There you are. So 
let's go there, then we can decide what's what. Make sense to you? Yeah, but still. You want Tynave and Farlene sacrificed to go to waste? Whatever their objective might be, they're risking their lives to save us. You're right. Just, just... I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going. Are we going down or going up? Emulator's not happy you're starting to get a little too many things on screen at once. What's wrong? My head. Ah. Are you sure you're all right? Uh, I just felt dizzy there for a minute. We'll be in Curlsaw soon. Can you make it that far? Why don't you have him carry you? I'm fine. I'm not a baby, jeez. Please, please punch him now. Very well. I can't be saying this means this is where I have to go, so I'm gonna go there last.
getting a really high lava. Off now, please. Know your enemy before you strike the first blow. Good now, please do it and. That would take as much damage. Oh, she's out of MP, that's why. Shit. Um. Can't do much more than that for now. I hear that'd be really stupid. Do I have any items to raise? Oh, I think that's it. Yeah. Sure, of course, Nald don't gain any XP since she was dead. <laughs> the AI in this game isn't horrible, but it's not amazing either, and it's kind of annoying. Don't want to have to spend another item on reviving her. Oh, snowman. Fuck. Thank you. Now I can go. This is Curlsan. If we can get through this town, we'll be in Aquarium. Are you all right? Exert yourself. Remember, you're not as strong as we are. Now even you're treating me like a baby. I said I'm fine. Yeah, well I'm saying you don't look fine at all. I'd prefer to just leave this town now, but that won't be possible with fate in this condition. Let's stay here tonight. What about those guys chasing us? We'll be okay if Tynate and Farlene succeed in leading them off. And in any case, we have nothing to gain by forcing a sick person to march. True enough. And we're in luck. There's an inn right over there in that building with the wagon outside. Let's go.
I'll see you later. Where are you going? I'm just going to check things out. I'll be right back. All right, but are you sure you should leave us alone? Aren't you afraid we'll just run away? No, you won't run out on me. I trust you, remember? Uh, don't say that. Now we can't run away. you walking around just don't leave the town and don't do anything conspicuous we're still in aeroglyph territory there's no telling where the enemy is hiding gotcha all right later then what are you gonna do Don't worry about me. What are you going to do? I'm conspicuous just walking around. Well, it's going to be pretty boring. But I guess I'll just have to wait right here. I think I'll take a walk. I'm sure it'll do me good. All right, but be careful. Like she said, we're still in enemy territory. Yeah, I know. So time to go try and get uh, everything in town again, and hopefully I won't get lost quite as much. By the decree of Duke Vox, Captain of the Dragon Brigade, and no one may enter or leave this town. I'm sorry, please hold on until tomorrow. Perhaps Count Walter will do something then. Okay, so... This is basically the... We're gonna have to wait until tomorrow morning before we can go there. There's that. Shut up. There we go. There we go. Four. I didn't realize that was a door. Although I'm looking for a chest. Oh, there it is. I want to open the chest, not read the sign. I don't care about the sign. Okay, we've got all the items, so time to upgrade our gear a little bit. This is kind of shit right now. See, what do you sell? Armor. That sounds good. I hope you're cheap. Thank you. We got plenty of money, so. Thank you for the upgrade. Needed it. Is it worth selling this stuff? But what I can sell is. What? Okay, there we go. The thing is, scale bunnies don't stack, so if you have more than one, you can just sell the extra ones for a lot of money. Thank you. I'm really rich and I'm gonna be good for a little while. I don't believe there's anything more I wanna buy here. It's 
So let's go get the plot we need to exit this place. One day, the church in our town was suddenly surrounded by dozens of soldiers who proceeded to arrest the many followers of the Church of Vapors whom had gathered there. A subsequent investigation by Duke Fox, captain of the Dragon Brigade, concluded that the believers of Apris who gathered there were plotting the assassination of His Royal Majesty. When His Royal Majesty heard about the assassination plot, he declared war on the sacred kingdom of Aquaria, which was thought to be behind the plot. That is why all the temples of the Church of Apris were burned to the ground, and even the worship of the Father God, Apris, was banned. Still, I doubt the Queen or the High Priest of the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria, let alone one of the tens of thousands of followers of Apris, intended to carry out such a terrible act as assassinating the King. It's actually quite a simple matter. Our country merely needed a reason like that, so it could invade a Sacred Kingdom like Aquaria. That's nice, sir. I have no idea why you're telling me this. Do I talk to Cliff to go to bed? No. Do I talk to the bed? Hello, bed. Shut up, Cliff. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to my bed. It's not cooperating. Oh, I forgot to do a thing. Never mind. I need to go to the cemetery first. What a fascinating cutscene. What you do in a place like this? Honestly thought the emulator had crashed there for a second. Oh, it glitched out rather. According to our latest information. I see. They're up to the same nasty tricks as always. Is it the Dragon Brigade? No, it's the Black Brigade. Of course, the Dragon Brigade is backing them up. I see. Good work. Whatever you do, please don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. You know they plan to... Go. Yes, ma'am. Hey, you're horrible at hiding. What are you doing out here? Nothing, really. I was passing by and saw you, so... Who was that? She works for me, gathering intelligence here in Curlsall. I was just checking up on you. Is something the matter? You looked pretty grim. Nothing unexpected. I found out our pursuers are getting close to this town. That's it? Yes. Why? Oh, well, no reason, really. We leave first thing in the morning. We can't afford to waste any time here. Ah, there you are. Huh? You two were together? I ran into her at the entrance. Like he said. Okay. It must have just been the fatigue catching up with me. Right. Well, hope that's all it was. Sorry to worry you guys. Well, as long as you're okay, don't sweat. It'll be night soon. You should rest up today. Tomorrow we'll pass through the Curlsaw Caverns. Girl saw caverns. Mine shafts to the north of town. We'll go through there to Arius. 
Of course, it'd be faster to go through the wilderness to the east, but we can't be sure that they aren't waiting to ambush us if we go that way. And the Kurosaw Caverns are safe? Well, at least we can be sure there are no Aragorn soldiers to worry about. Spit it out. What's dangerous about the mine shafts? Well, a number of monsters have taken up residence there. I'm not saying it's 100% safe. Right. Let's just say I'd rather face them than the soldiers. So now that everyone knows the plan, let's get some sleep. We leave early. All right. Okay. Nell, can I ask you something? What? Do you think Tynave and Farlene got away okay? They'll be fine. Those girls can fend for themselves. They're trained for these eventualities. I hope you're right. Hurry up and get ready. Our pursuers are not far away. Yeah, yeah. Actually, a funny story, we're actually not going to, um, to go to the cavern quite right away because there's a private action we can get first, and I want to do it, so. So first things first, we're actually going to go back to Aeroglyph. Because, fuck, plot, or whatever. Ow. Actually, I'll try fighting him. No, stop dying, please. When I say stop dying, that doesn't mean get yourself hit right after. Thanks. Now, can you please understand the concept of run away from enemies before you start healing? Please don't kill now. Okay, so like I was saying, we're going to do a short private action now. Hi, Cliff! Oh, how are you here? Anyway, Cliff, can I talk to you? Who would have thought I would ever come to this? What a mind-blowing experience. Where have you been anyway? I can't find that mirage either. Yeah, I wonder where mirage is. Beats me, I wonder what she's up to. Look at that. I'm worried about Mirage. I guess it really is dangerous for a woman to be all alone on an underdeveloped planet like this. Give me a break. You really think she's just a pretty face? You wouldn't say that if you really knew her. Look, Cliff, you're right about the physical abilities of Euclosians being far superior to the people of Elicor, but that doesn't make me feel any better about leaving a woman all by herself on this planet. Well, I suppose we Euclosians aren't invis invincible or anything. We're just like anyone else if they're probably in our sleep and we'll die if someone poisons our food. However, Mirage's weakness lies somewhere else. How should I put it? I don't think she knows the meaning of the word hesitate. When she determines that someone is an enemy, she'll never hesitate to act. Makes no difference if it's someone that she's met before. Anyone who's come up against her and lived can only be described as lucky. Oh, I see. Just remember this, don't do anything to ruffle her feathers. If you get her really angry, even I won't be able to save you. I'll try to remember that. Man, what's up with her? She could at least contact us once she's out there. Suppose it'll be okay as long as she's safe. Yeah, I suppose it will be. So that was that. You can actually get this scene uh, later, but this is right now it's the most uh, practical place too, since you're pretty close. And with that, let's run back.